Hey everyone, meet Kevin here. Boy oh boy, the United Kingdom has gone through hell over the last few weeks. And in this video, I'm gonna catch you up to speed with everything you need to know about the United Kingdom in a really fast bottom line way, right up to the speech by the brand new Prime Minister today and what it means for the United Kingdom, what just happened, and what could it potentially mean for the stability of pension funds and bankruptcies that we had been fearing uh, because we've actually been getting pretty close to those. Let's talk about all of that in this video brought to you by Moomoo, link down below. Okay, so here's the short story. Boris Johnson went partying while COVID was happening, telling everyone to be on lockdown. That haunted him for basically a whole nother two years. Then he's like, all right, fine. I got too many votes of no confidence, and even though I could hang on to power, I'ma leave. And so then the Tory party, who had a 2019 mandate, which is kind of like their conservative-ish party, but you don't wanna just label them as one thing, they're the Tory party, okay? All right, we gotta be careful here. Anyway, they decided to place Liz Truss in power. Well, she was uh, not exactly like a Margaret uh, Thatcher or Theresa May, and instead made a few, quote, mistakes. And you'll see where those, uh, quote, mistakes come from, but basically, her policies, along with the Chancellor of the Exchequer, which is kind of like the Treasury Secretary, except it's for the United Kingdom, quasi Kwateng, decided, hey, you know what, we're a country of entrepreneurs, and in order to incentivize entrepreneurship and growth, we're just gonna cut taxes for the rich, we're gonna stimulate businesses, reduce taxes on real estate, and help subsidize everyone's electricity bills and gas bills, energy bills. Well, what happened? Well, you basically had a collapse of the bond market because all of a sudden, funds decided, uh-oh, we don't feel comfortable in the financial stability of the United Kingdom. Let's sell our gilts, which are United Kingdom bonds. And when those get dumped, the prices of them go down and yields go up. And because so many people were dumping these bonds and potentially then dumping the British pound for other currencies, maybe like the US dollar where there's more stability and strength. And, and even though that's kind of weird to say that the United States could have more stability, ironically, when you have a lot of gridlock in the United States, that is a form of stability. Anyway, beside the point, uh, the pound plummeted Big panic happened. Big panic led to so many margin calls at pension funds that pension funds had to start scrambling to sell assets. They had to start taking emergency loans from the corporations for whom they do their pension funds. Then they started trying to sell illiquid assets like real estate, but the margin calls were coming in so fast that companies in charge of putting the margin calls together and actually processing them couldn't even get bonds offloaded fast enough. Basically, Liz Trust led to this complete disaster, which then led to to certain, uh, I think it was the da Daily something, I don't know, some particular newspaper ran uh, a challenge and said, who's going to last longer? This head of lettuce or the current prime minister, Liz Truss? And sure enough, the lettuce won. She ended up being the shortest serving prime minister. And now we're going to go to the youngest serving prime minister, which uh, I suppose it would be the youngest prime minister since like the, yeah, I think since 1812. It's quite remarkable. And this person is uh, quite rich. <laughs> in fact, in the United States, that can tend to give you credibility. But in the United Kingdom, that's actually pretty uh, rare. Uh, Rishi Sunak is the prime minister now in the United Kingdom. And uh, he gave his first speech this morning. He was a little bit late to give his speech. But then again, he met the king. The queen is no longer with us. Uh, Anyway, there's a lot of political drama in terms of whether you say rest in peace to the queen or you don't. Uh, you know, we're just going to put that drama aside. That's a whole nother Twitter debate. And quite frankly, that's a video on its own. So instead, let's talk about what Arishi had to say for the United Kingdom. Quick note, Moomoo is offering you up to 15 free stocks, each valued up to $2,000 right now, if you use my unique link in the description down below. There is also a link available for my Australian audience. You've been asking, and Moomoo now has a link 
to offer you up to 15 free stocks valued up to $2,000 each. Link down below, that's both United States link and Australian link is a link right below that one. So expand the description down below, click the link down below and get those free stocks with Moomoo. It's a trading application and it is a wonderful competitor to some of the other platforms that exist. And if you're looking for some free stocks, free money in this crazy economic time, and you wanna explore something new, a new product, give Moomoo a try, it's worth it. So he had to say that, quote, our country is facing a profound economic crisis and the aftermath of COVID lingers. He says that Putin's war in Ukraine has destabilized energy markets and supply chains. And when it comes to Liz Truss, she's not wrong to want to improve growth, but mistakes were made. And even though they weren't made of bad intentions, I've been elected to fix them. Now, I will say, Rishi comes across as pretty dang polished, okay? He was pretty solid during COVID, although of course people are going to debate his performance during COVID because any government official during COVID just got stuff wrong. That's just the way it worked. But I have to say, he was pretty damn calming to listen to. Now, in, his, in kind of his entire speech, in my opinion, he didn't really say much. He said, look, his priority is going to be fixing mistakes and economic stability and confidence. Now, this is obviously, you know, he prefaced this before talking about economic stability and confidence by saying, look, Liz Truss tried her best with her best of intentions, but she made mistakes. He's trying to basically say, look, like she's still a good human being, even though the lettuce head beat her. But then he kind of has to bash her too. And he has to do that by saying, look, I'm going to stand for stability because you don't want the bond market to freak out. And so far, markets are actually responding calmly. Rishi is bringing calm. Thank you very much. Now, uh, he does say that there will be difficult decisions to come and a priority is making sure that we're not leaving our children saddled with our own debt. And then of course, guy goes into sort of this politician list of all the things he's going to do. Like somehow he's gonna strengthen the social safety net while making sure that streets are safe, uh, safer and the borders are controlled and we have better schools and we protect the environment and we support our armed forces and we build an economy that embraces the future opportunities of Brexit, blah, 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 blah. Okay, look, bottom line out of all of this, okay? Rishi is calm, great. This is exactly the kind of person we need. A lot of folks were like, Kevin, Bojo's gonna come back. That's Boris Johnson, remember? He's the COVID guy who left, who was partying. Now he can really go party because he's done, okay? So, and he can go party with Liz Truss because they're all also in the same party, the Tory party. Anyway, Rishi's in charge now. And the goal is calm. Bojo was potentially going to come back, but the last thing you want is somebody who basically got forced out of the prime minister uh, ship or whatever you want to call it, coming back in to try to take over the reins after somebody else failed, okay? Bad. You need somebody new. This Rishi decision by the United Kingdom and the Tory party, okay, they ultimately made the decision, was the right decision in my opinion. We get calm in markets. This is really critical because the United Kingdom can now potentially avoid the pension fund collapse that we've seen nearly happen. Now, what is important beyond that is that it wasn't just the United Kingdom that had pension fund issues. It's more heavily pension fund indebted countries like the Netherlands that are now becoming more nervous about their own potential pension fund obligations. And these sorts of things are leading bonds to be sold off preemptively in preparation for potential financial stress in other economies around the world. Now, What's important for us as sort of a bottom line to know is that right now, the drama of the United Kingdom might be over and that's really good. But now that this candle has sort of been put out, we kind of have to look around and look for other potential financial stress. I don't believe at the moment at least that is going to come any more from the United Kingdom. Again, it's worth paying attention to what happens in the United Kingdom because their inflation rate just ticked back over 10%. But beyond paying attention to it, I don't believe we face any longer the collapse fears that we were facing just a few weeks ago. Now, we'll see what Rishi's new policies are, but honestly, the best thing Rishi could do right now is very little. Just talk tough on, on Putin, and you know what? In fact, my opinion, okay, I'm just gonna take this out of my own little playbook over here. 
the best thing Rishi could do now? Get on the phone with Biden. Get him off his freaking butt and get on the phone with Putin and stop this damn war. That is the best thing that could be done for the entire world. All right? Now, thank you to Moomoo for sponsoring this video. And folks, hopefully you appreciated this update and insight and a uh, sort of full summary on what the hell is going on with the collapse of the United Kingdom and is it something that we need to be concerned about now? Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, consider sharing and subscribing. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. And check out Moomoo, link down below. Thanks. Bye.